Welcome to Whittleton Creek 47. Your target is Galen Voles, who's just moved into the neighborhood in hopes of establishing an inconspicuous home clinic to peddle Atlantide. Unfortunately for him, not to mention you, he's already received some threatening mail to this new address. The man's on edge, and he's reached out to the local authorities to help him secure his property. You'll need to get past them if you want to take care of Voles. Good luck. Like he doesn't trust us to keep the neighborhood safe. This guy's got sensors on everything but the darn mailbox. We definitely have one there. No mail around here all He's been sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. Listen, I swear I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of aggressively invasive mold in this poor old man's backyard. Calm down, demolition man. Unless Make way, people. You gotta find a bathroom you know right now. We're gonna keep them safe in our trunk until you produce that license, okay? Come on, man. Standard procedure. You stuff the hole, and then you blow up the tunnel system so it collapses. Look it up on YouTube. Sir, if the American police force looks at you to the guy I'm pretty sure civilization was left a long time ago. God damn it. Be back with someone to help. Oh, geez, darling, I'm so hungry. Sir, please leave. Nothing for you to see here. Yeah, we just need a second here, mister. Uh, do you mind? Just move along. You need to get out of here and leave us alone right now, mister. We're in the middle of something. Just move away from this area. Thanks. Sir, please leave. Nothing for you to see here. Oh, by all means, yes. Please, come in. Hey, you got no business around here. Just take off, would you? 
Nothing like receiving a handwritten letter. You need to get out of here and leave us alone right now. Uh, hello and welcome. Please, have a seat. <clears throat> Mr. Anderson, I'm glad you could come. I've been looking forward to it. Given your diagnosis, I don't doubt it. Let's cut to the chase. I think your doctors have been greatly misled about the severity of your illness. You do? I do. I see cases like yours all the time, Dale. And with the appropriate intervention, they're rarely terminal. The medical establishment has a vested interest in misleading people like you, because the truth would undermine the entire system. So what would you suggest? To start with, eight weeks of demineralized salt water, four liters per day. We came from the oceans, you know, but now we only let ourselves ingest water in its most basic and unhealthful form, and that affects us at, at a cellular level. Products like, well, like my own brand, actually, Atlantide, are much closer to how water was a million years ago. Isn't demineralized salt water just water? <laughs> it's pure water, Dale. Primitive and nourishing. All of the benefits of salination with none of the adverse effects. And if you want to offset the cost, you can just sign on as an Atlantide distributor and cover it that way. That's quite the offer. <laughs> well, what can I say? I like to help people in whatever way I can. So what do you think, Dale? Are you ready to commit to life? No. Target eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Time to make your exit. Dr. Voles, may I help you with something? 